Alright guys, we're back again with another adventure in Unify! So, I don't know about you guys, but I know some people, <clears throat> they don't get unlimited data and they have data caps in their places and stuff. They don't want to have to worry and be like, oh, gone over data again on my internet plan. They're going to charge me a whole bunch of money. Well, guess what? In Unify and a lot of other routers too, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Unify. You can adjust the bandwidth of certain devices. So, you know, if you network and you set your network up correctly with Unify, everything is mapped out. I mean, you got labels for stuff of what device is what, your smart plugs, whatever, different IoT networks, everything's perfectly labeled. Well, let's say that you're like, man, that Fire Stick or that Apple TV or that Nvidia Shield or that Roku or that Android streaming box are using a lot of data and you're like oh, my kids upstairs he's just streaming all day I want I mean he's going over my dang network or he's gaming a lot and he's just going over my you know megabytes and everything it's like gosh I'm not gonna pay the hundred dollars or what the charge fee is well what you can do is you can limit the bandwidth on the device so what I would say do is do this in increments figure out which you know how much video quality? Some people be like, oh, I lowered it to that device to 15 megabits. And usually when it streams that, it's 34. It's like, oh, I can't even tell a difference. Let me go down even more. Uh, 10. Oh, I still can't tell a difference. Let me go to 8 or 5. So just adjust it the way you want. But once it's adjusted, you guys should be able to fine tune your devices so you can have all the streaming stuff or all the gaming stuff, depending on if you want your kids just to be limited, but not you guys. You're like, you know what? Even if it's not even just for data bandwidth, you're just like, hey, when I'm doing my office work in there, I don't want him hogging all the dang bandwidth for his video games. Well, you guys can limit the bandwidth on called bandwidth profiles. So this is pretty cool. As of network update 6.5.55, this is this version. I'm using the beta one on my controller. I'm actually using someone else's controller right now, just to give you an example but I'm gonna show you guys so all you have to do is go to advanced features on this network controller version right now and look for bandwidth and you see default is unlimited all we gotta do is add new bandwidth profile name it we'll name it uh, let's just do video for an, uh, no let's just do limit no not limit let's just do just something I don't know video uh, Let's just do Apple TV or whatever. Apple TV. So let's say you have a house Apple TV, Android TV. If you have Nvidia Shield, like I love to use, but I'm just going to do this because a lot of people have Apple phones or whatever. And it's just, I just don't know. Just to try and make it to the masses, you know what I mean. All right. So then you can do limit to upload and download. I can set it to, let's do 10. 10 kilobits or I could do megabits so we'll do 10 megabits upload let's do because the upload is usually smaller on networks I know it's terrible but if you're like Comcast you're stuck at 40 come on Comcast get over that 40 stuff even though you're playing for their gig plan plus blast they only give you 40 but with AT&T uh, fiber only AT&T I would use you can get 900 and 900 up 900 down it's like come on here like really but whatever let's get back into it sorry for my ranting and raving all right so then we'll go to um, let's do do two two there and we'll set it to megabits again so now we'll hit apply profile Apple TV now we'll go to the devices on the network the clients so we got all the clients here. There's the NVIDIA Shield. We'll just say, you know, whatever, the NVIDIA Shield. Um, we'll click on it. And when you go to settings, it says bandwidth profile here. All you got to do is change it, like Apple TV, and then hit apply. And then boom, right there, they'll be limited to 10 megabits uh, download that we set it to. And I think it was... Uh, two megabits or three something up or so yeah i think it was two up but yeah they'll be limited to that so that device won't go over and you can see how it fluctuates you, you know remember you can see your your uh, network plan from your provider see how much you've used and you can be like oh yeah that's perfect or you know what it's still going just a little bit let me see the quality still looks good on the tvs let me bring it down a little more because 
And let's be honest, I think it's a crying shame for some of these companies to say that you have to use their stuff to get a discount of Unlimited when their ISP stuff is always garbage. 98% of the people that switch to their own stuff, unless they're going for the cheap stuff, I get this all the time, well, I got my own and it still's not doing well. How much did you spend on it? Well, I spent like 79 bucks, and I either got the modem router combo, or I got the $79 router, and I got the $30 a modem. It's like, well, uh, there's your problem. I mean, come on, you don't use the modem router combos, first of all. And I'm sorry to say, it's going to be expensive up front, but you're going to save it in like no time at all. But the stupid uh, ISPs, they charge, they, they go, oh, use ours. We'll give you a discount on limited. It's like, yeah, that's crap. Why don't you just give me a limited automatically? I mean, streaming stuff is getting big. It's not getting smaller here, anyone. And your rates are still not enough for how much we get a month. I mean, come on here. 4K is out now. Most people have 4K TVs and 8K is coming. Who, gosh, can't imagine 8K streaming. Like, people be going over the bandwidth crazy oh we'll give you an extra thousand gigs and it's like yeah, i ain't gonna do it just put unlimited they used to have unlimited back in the day and then they got rid of it sad sad remember i remember those days and you didn't think about oh i'm going over my daddy you just thought oh how much i'm gonna get more speed just more speed that's all you cared about now it's speed's cool but most people don't even hit their speed cap anyways anyways i mean unless you're doing crazy stuff on your network and most people aren't uh all it is is the cap of how much data you can use a month i mean uh but hey i make these videos for you guys i didn't apply this one to theirs because i definitely did not want uh that to be limited in theirs that's not my call it's their call so they can do it themselves or i can ask me to do it and i'll do it for them but i make these videos for you guys to help you guys out save time hopefully save you some money with this one or some uh Hassle with network speeds if your kid's gaming you, you don't pay, you don't get you only get like 30 megabits and he's taking it all up for gaming and you can be like nope I'm limiting your console to this I'm limiting your phone gaming to this or your YouTube watching or this so you can't take up all my bandwidth so it's pretty dang cool I would make sure that you also when you do that too is you make all your devices have static IPs that are going to remain in your network just in case the router goes off. It gives it a new IP address. It probably won't have the same uh, bandwidth profile to it then. If you set it to a static IP address, you will definitely have that. And to uh, set up a static IP address, like I'll go back to here, settings, all you gotta do is it'll be off like this. You uh, fixed IP address. You can hit whatever network you want it on and then uh, type in the address. Usually has them by default. The router will give it that. You can either keep it the same one or you can change it to what one you know better recognizes for yourself. But you know, I needed the shield, so I'll see it on the list and what IP address it is, anyways. But I mean, so I'm I'm not, I'm anal about it. I like to have certain IP addresses that because I log in through them through the IP address of certain devices. So yes, most people wouldn't have to worry about it. But just want to give you a heads up there. If it's gonna stay on your network, give it a static IP address. If it's gonna, and then if you get a new device to replace that one, make sure you unlink the static IP address to it so it's free again, and then put the new device on. You can keep it the same as, you know, use the old IP address or what, but it's just like, if you just remove the old device without clearing that IP address, well then you lost that IP address, unless you go to your disconnected devices and say forget. But I just wanna give you guys a heads up. Please like, comment, subscribe to these videos. I do it for you guys. You guys rock and roll. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.